Hello, I'm Jerry. In this video, I will introduce you Bioman's power plant. One, what is Bioman's? Bioman's includes wood, agricultural waste, metropolitan solid waste, landfill gas, and feces of livestock. While in this video, we focus on wood and agricultural waste. Wood and agricultural waste contain chemical energy coming from photosynthesis. The calorific value of dry wood is about 41% of that of coal, so biomass can also be used for generating electric power through burning, like coal. In fact, Biomass power plant belongs to thermal power plants, as shown in this process. Fuel, such as coal, oil, natural gas, or biomass, is burned to heat water and generate high temperature and high pressure steam. The high temperature and high pressure steam then drives blades of steam turbine. Turbine drive generator connecting with it by a common shaft to generate electric power. In this process, energy is transformed as follows. The chemical energy in fuel is first changed to heat of steam. Heat is then changed to mechanical energy of the turbine. At last, mechanical energy is changed to electrical power by the generator. 2. How does a biomass power plant work? The fuel is brought to the boiler. It is then introduced into the combustion chamber, where it releases heat as it burns. This in turn heats water in tubes that line the boiler. The hot water is then sent to a tank where it turns into steam. The steam drives the turbine, which turns the generator. In the generator, the interaction between the electromagnets of the moving rotor and the copper coils of the stationary stator produces an electric current. A transformer is used to increase the voltage of its current to high voltage, such as 400,000 volts. This makes it easier to transport in the network's very high voltage lines. The steam from the turbine passes through a condenser in which cold water circulates. This cools the steam turning it back into water. It is then sent back to the boiler. This steam can also be used either for industrial activities or to supply an urban heating network. This simultaneous production of electricity and heat in a single facility is called combined heat and power. The efficiency of combined heat and power is normally higher than that of the pure production of power. Finally, the fumes released by combustion are filtered before being evacuated through chimneys. There are several differences between biomass power plants and power plants that use coal, oil, or natural gas as fuel. First, agricultural waste contain relatively high alkaline substance, such as sodium, potassium, and chlorine. These alkaline substances will crystallize on the high temperature and block boilers. Second, fresh agricultural waste contain high moisture, which may impact boiler efficiency. Some companies in Malaysia 
provide PAM waste biomass to clients in other countries. These companies need to cheap, green, wash, dry, and pelletize biomass before shipment. Besides, special treatment is required to eliminate alkaline substance and keep moisture content at 8 to 10 percent. All these processes at cost of biomass. Chinese experts have solved the above problem. The laser designed boilers can burn biomass containing high alkaline substance and high moisture up to 60% directly without pre processing. Besides, China's latest development of biomass technologies have fallen in merit. First, through special design, the nitrogen oxide emission can be controlled in a small quantity, and thus save the environment protection equipment investment and operation costs. Second, the newly designed boilers are adapt to more than 100 kinds of agricultural wastes, including rice straw, wheat straw, tree trunk and branchy, corn stalk, rice husk, peanut shell, corn cob, which greatly enlarge the biomass sources. If one kind of biomass supply is not enough, then other kinds of biomass can be used to supply but never available. All these newly development of biomass technologies have been successfully applied in many projects and are proved to be mature. 3. Biomass power plant in the world and China At the end of 2019, the world biomass power plant capacity increased to 124.3 gigawatt. USA's biomass electric power generation was 7.358 gigawatt in 2019. At the end of 2021, China's biomass power plant capacity increased to 37.98 gigawatt, which is the world's largest capacity in the past four years. Four. Biomass supply and power plant capacity. Enough and stable biomass supply is important to biomass power plant. Suppose a palm plantation chops 20,000 acres of old palm every month, and each acre plants 55 palms. Statistics show that the average weight of a palm is 780 kg. Then, palm supply per month will be 85,800 tons. This supply is enough to support a 100 MW biomass power plant. This plant can generate 0.85 billion kWh electric power per year. Biomass power is a kind of renewable energy and is one of the trends of the future energy. Malaysia has plenty of biomass resource. Building such a 100 megawatt power plant can reduce 700,000 tons of carbon dioxide emission every year. I hope that such a biomass power plant will be helpful for more beautiful Malaysia. <laughs>